This morning, the owner of the Portland Thorns, Merritt Paulson, announced that he'll be selling the Thorns, saying the club would be better off with a fresh voice. It was an interview that you'll see only on Fox 12. Fox 12's Paulina Aguilar spoke with many members of the community today to get reaction to Paulson's departure. Paulina? Well, I spoke to fans and they say that they feel a sense of relief and that this is a good step forward towards change, but that Paulson pulling away from the thorns is not enough and that he should also sell the timbers. This is what accountability looks like. A sigh of relief, but fans are asking for more for Paulson to give up ownership of the timbers. There is a uh, club and community balance uh, with within Portland where we are trying to maintain that there's uh, that connection and and in order for that to happen there needs to be trust and I think as long as Merritt Paulson is an owner uh, trust has been uh, completely evaporated. Former Thorns midfielder Mo Fitzgerald who was an intern in 2013 and played with the club in 2016 is speaking out for the first time in seven years. She says this is a long time coming. And I've always questions, questioned his ethics and his morals. The organization did not, did not treat them with humanity. They didn't see them as whole people. They saw them as second class citizens that didn't deserve the right to be considered uh, with full respect and dignity. There's also been positive feedback, thanking Merritt for his time. Karina LeBlanc, general manager of the Portland Timbers, says, quote, I am grateful to Merritt for bringing the Thorns to Portland and continues. He took a chance on women's soccer when few others would. And current Thorns player defender Emily Mingus, you've not only been a driving force in the construction of a thriving league, but behind the scenes, you've been relentless in your push to raise the ceiling for women's soccer. She continues, I have felt nothing but support from you for my entire time as a Thorn. Paulson told Fox 12 he is pledging $1 million to the NWSL. And a statement from NWSL Commissioner Jessica Berman says, quote, this money will be used to launch a new NWSL player safety department. Coming out of this chapter in the NWSL's history, we will emerge stronger than ever before and make this a league the players are proud to play in. I'm really proud of Mana and Sinead and I, I know the environment that they were in and we were in and it breaks my heart and that they were put in that position and it breaks my heart again that they were denied justice for so long and it's really it's really tough to stand up against an entire system when when you are you know, just a couple of individuals, but I'm really proud of them and the shakeout that this has done across the league is incredible and they should be really proud of themselves. Paulson will remain the owner of the Timbers and says that will put him in a position to help the new owners succeed. Reporting from Providence Park, Pauline Aguilar, Fox 12 Oregon.